Hey developer and welcome to another R Code World video. In the pen testing environment, you will find a lot of tools that help you to detect multiple vulnerabilities on web systems, desktop applications, and others. Almost all of them have been written in Python, Perl, Java, or even native languages like C or C++. However, no one expected the popularity that Node.js had in the recent years. Nowadays, there are a lot of tools as well that are written in JavaScript and run under the Node.js hood. Although Python is preferred when working with Kali Linux, both of the programming languages have the same end goals. There is no right or wrong decision for adopting which platform is best suited to you. Therefore, if you want to work with JavaScript instead of Python, don't you feel bad about that? Besides, Node can be used in the broad range of modules, that means that you can use Python in your Node.js application and vice versa. In this video, we will explain you briefly how to install Node.js properly on Kali Linux. This means that you will have as well the latest Node.js and NPM version available from the terminal. As first step, we want to show you that we don't have Node.js or NPM installed. Then we will proceed with the installation of the required tools to build Node.js from scratch with the command described on the video. If you have any problem during the installation of the check install package, read the description of the video to find the fix of the installation of this package that can be installed with the default repositories of Kali Linux in recent versions. As next, we will create a temporary workspace where we will clone the source code of Node.js and build the installation package. As we will need the source code at all after the installation of the package, it should be removed later, so if you don't want to bother with it, create the temporary folder and switch to the created directory in the terminal. This command basically creates a variable that contains the name of the created directory with the mktemp command and switches to it automatically. Now, as mentioned at the beginning, we will install with this tutorial always the latest version of Node.js. You can download the latest version available using the command described on the video. It basically downloads the gcptar file that contains the code from the official Node.js website. Once the download finishes, proceed to extract its content to the current directory with the command described on the video. Before proceeding with the compilation of Node.js, you need to run the configure script in the root directory of the project. A configure script is an executable script designed to aid in developing a program to be run on a wide number of different computers. It matches the libraries and the user's computers with those required by the program before compiling it from its source code. Run the configure script with the command described on the video. To create our installable package of Node.js, we are going to use check install. Check install keeps track of all the files created or modified by your installation script and builds a standard binary package .deb, .rpm or .tgc. Check install is really useful if you've got a tarball with software that you have to compile, exactly what we are doing in this moment. To create the package of Node.js, execute the command described on the video, and don't worry, you can copy the command from the official article in our website. The command should start to compile Node.js and it will take a while, so relax and wait until the process finishes. When it finishes, you will see an output that informs you of the location and name of the installer file that we will use in the next step. Finally, as mentioned in the output of the previous step, you will find the name of the dep package, the installer of Node.js, so proceed to install it with the command described on the video. The package manager will begin to unpack Node and will install it in your system, making it available from the command line.
Now after installing the package, you can prove if Node.js was currently installed, checking the version of Node.js and npm in the command line. Thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and visit our codeworld.com for more awesome content about software development. Until next time.